Hey guys, uh, today we're going to be addressing the drama that's going on in the Outsiders fandom. And why it's a bunch of bull taggy and why you shouldn't be listening to these people. And I will not be naming names, but if you belong to the Outsiders fandom, you know who these people are by now. These people have been in the fandom for, uh, I want to say many years now, and are claiming they are getting death threats, and are starting drama, and one of them basically did a YouTube video on why the Outsiders fandom is toxic, and you shouldn't be in the Outsiders fandom if you don't want to become suicidal or whatever like that, whereas, uh, so basically, they're manipulating a bunch of kids into hating the outsiders, essentially. I didn't watch the video personally because I know it's a little bull ticky after being in this fandom for X amount of years and never experiencing hate in one way. Like, we're all nice to each other in this fandom. We're all nice. We're all inviting. We all invite you to be a fan of the Outsiders, too. Just, you know, we just hate liars. Yeah, those are about the only people we hate. Um, you can't stand people who lie about fandoms for attention. We don't stand toxic people either, so... Yeah. So, if you're on the Outsiders fandom, you know exactly who this chick is I'm talking about. If not, I will not be uh, naming names because that's just something we don't do. Yeah, um, Miss, uh, person, you're canceled for a hot second. Especially since, uh, in your video, you didn't even bother to black out any of the names and the screenshots causing those people to get hate and most likely death threats like you're claiming you're getting even though the outsiders fans would never death threat you unless you dox these people even then we know that's not the appropriate response but it's the response that we know is most likely going to get you to shut up <laughs> you know also, to this specific person, saying Tommy Howell is racist and a pedophile does not make you look good. It makes you look like a shitty person who tells lies for no goddamn reason. Because that's what you are. Yeah, um... So basically, that's that. Um, and to the other person who claimed Tommy Howell is a pedophile, and then apologized for your actions, at least you realize that your actions were not the kindest to Tommy, not the kindest to the Outsiders fans, and you even claim that you didn't expect anyone to forgive you, including Tommy himself. Especially not Tommy. Especially not Tommy. Thank you. Thank you for realizing you were at fault there. And I know I may just be sounding like a complete and utter bastard. Like, why would you be claiming this stuff about a bunch of kids? Blah, blah, blah. I know I might be sounding like a bastard, but this is what is going on. This is basically the drama. A bunch of these kids are telling Tommy Howell that they don't stand him anymore because he's a racist and a pedophile. How stupid does that sound? Even Tommy himself, like, if you look at his most recent instagram video 
he even claims that he was added to these girls' group chat. And they were saying some stuff he didn't find appropriate. So, he called them out. They blocked him in the group chat, so he blocked them on their feet. Feed. Now they're freaking out and making a big deal out of Soul Man. Yet again, even though that was an anti-racist movie made with love. Those are his exact words. You realize how stupid these girls sound now, huh? I might be titling this video something like the real toxicity of the outsiders fandom or um dear can or dear girls who tried to cancel Tommy Howell because we do not stand that or to the girl who uh tried to make us outsider outsiders fans look bad yeah um Those are work in progress titles that are going through my head right now as I'm coloring them this beautiful picture of Lexi Fox because he's pretty and honestly we could all use something beautiful in our lives. Well, besides looking up and waking up or waking up and looking in the mirror every day, you need to remind yourself that the world can produce beautiful people. Not everybody's like those girls who tried to cancel Tommy Howell for no exact reason. I feel like we just need to be reminded that there are people out there like that. And that everybody deserves a fair break. Unless they are spouting lies uh, about another person. This includes anybody who's ever convicted any. Or lied about anybody being a sexual predator or... Being a pedophile or whatnot. If I were an adult, I'd be demonetized so hard by now. But basically, yeah. Nobody is sending you death threats, and even if they are, nobody is going to believe you because we have never sent anyone death threats before. Unless you dox someone, in which case, yeah, the death threats are kind of warranted. Like, if you dox Tommy Howell, first of all, you probably got thanked a million times. And second of all, you probably got your ass whooped because <laughs> taxing people is heckin' wrong. Those are the only, like, that's the only way somebody from the Outsiders fandom would ever send you a death threat if you did something that's obviously wrong, like doxing people. Don't dox people. So if you're planning on doing it because, oh, you're getting death threats, you should have thought twice before you posted that video. In fact, I don't think twice is even warranted. Three times. You, you should have thought three times. Because, in all actuality, pretty much everybody knows you're lying about getting these death threats. Everybody and their grandmother knows you're lying. So don't try to pass it off as, oh, I'm getting death threats and DMs and not providing any evidence. Like, seriously, that's what why we're all questioning you about this. Normal people, when they say they're getting death threats, they don't lie about it and they provide evidence. Liars don't provide evidence because they have no evidence to provide. Now, I'm not necessarily saying you're lying. I'm just saying that if this is true, if 
there are people in the fandom who are doing this, wouldn't you provide screenshots? Wouldn't you screen cap it? I mean, you're a girl that comes like second nature to us. We screenshot literally everything to use as um, blackmail later on. So, as a chick, why the hell are you, oh, I'm getting death threats and not providing any evidence? Now, Hannah, I mean, person, if you ever, ever see this video, I want you to sit on your ass and think twice about what you're doing before you do it. Because that's what most of us logical people with brains do. If you have even a slither of a brain, sliver of a brain, do that before you post next time. Maybe you wouldn't be getting these quote unquote death threats. I want you to think long and hard about that. And now, to all you Outsiders fandom, people who are considering leaving, watch this video first before you leave. Cause, like, these girls are saying Tommy Howell's a predator. They're saying, He's done all this stuff, he's racist, because they refuse to let go of drama that happened over a year ago. These girls at, the, at this point are just looking for anything to cancel Tommy Howe. The only person who is not uh, guilty of anything in this, in this group of these two girls is the one who came out and flat out apologized because she realized what she was saying about Tommy Howell is extremely hurtful to him. It's extremely hurtful to his family. It's extremely hurtful to his reputation. She's the only one who gets a pass on this because she apologized. For all of you who are worried about Tommy, he he looks to be doing fine. But like, you know how in people's pictures where you can sometimes see that there's a layer underneath where it looks like they're breaking? Yeah, I, I can somewhat see that in Tommy's nose photo. <coughs> I feel like he's going through something right now. And I feel like within a week... We should all post something positive about each of the Outsiders cast, especially Tommy because of all the crap these girls are putting him through. Like, we should all write something positive about the cast, including Patrick Swayze, even though he's dead, say our favorite thing about them, and why we will continue to support them no matter what. And then tag them. You get to choose one person to put in your story and tag, but you have to say it about everybody else in a post. You can tag them in that post, but <coughs> I doubt they're gonna see it. I mean, I. I've tagged Tommy in a bunch of, like, fan arts, and he doesn't see them, so. I doubt that's really an effective way of communication. So.
So, um, what I'm really trying to get us to do is to appreciate these men. Because what they've done for us is unparalleled. Think about it. Without the outsiders, how many of you would be depressed? How many of you would think that life isn't worth living because you have nothing to live for? How many of you would think this crap? That you know isn't true if it weren't for these boys. Tell me true. And what I mean by that is not like Type in the comments, oh, I, I wouldn't be depressed because I'm not depressed right now. You don't know what's going to happen 10, 20 years down the line. And if you didn't have the outsiders and their cast to turn to, who would you have? Because let's face it, those of us with depression, myself included, oftentimes think we're a burden. We think those of those who love us are lying to us. I want you to think long and hard about this. Have you thought about it? Have you thought about what I told you to think about? If no, I want you to pause this video and actually think about it. Seriously, for me, if it weren't for the cast of the outsiders, I probably would be in a worse depression than I am right now, to be honest. And I bet those girls who were talking shit on Tommy. Would too. What these people need to realize is that words can be hurtful. You know, if you were actually doing these things and you guys had proof, you would be fired from so many things. Nobody would want to hire him. And if it's your insane goal to cancel him, don't do it. Cancel culture sucks. Like, even with the SC Henning's over party, our goal was not to cancel her. It was just to get her to see what she's doing that's making her fans feel like, well, shit. <laughs> That was the only goal of it. It was never to cancel her. So you guys can't be like, oh, you're a hypocrite because you took part in the Essie Hinton is over party. That was just to get, to get her to see... She's making some people feel like they're not wanted in the fandom because of how she treats them. That was the only goal in that whole entire thing. Not to cancel her, but to make her see the error of her ways. Like, that was our only goal. So you can't be like, oh, you're a hypocrite because you took part in this.
so, uh, I guess the moral of this video is, if you are taking part in this actively, and know you're taking part in this plan to cancel Tommy, and in this drama, or stupid drama, fake problems, as Tommy himself would describe it. I want you to sit and think long and hard, no pun intended, about what you're doing. Because what you're doing is not nice in any way. What you're doing is attempting to cancel a man who probably did a lot for your mental health. Like, it's all you're doing. Like, and people like me are tired of seeing people like Tommy get canceled. He was young when he took that role. He probably didn't know it was like inherently racist and he probably realizes it was now. He's probably extremely sorry for it. And if you were personally affected by this movie, he probably wants to apologize like a quadrillion times over to you. But he can't because of what these girls are doing. These girls are basically not giving an op him an opportunity to have a voice. Not giving him an opportunity to say what he needs to say. What, that's what these girls are planning on doing. And that's why I will refuse to support them. While they're trying to cancel Tommy. They're refusing to give a man much older than, them, than him. Or than them. Who would need a voice. Who has a voice to publicly defend himself against these girls. An opportunity... To not be able to use that voice. That's what these girls are doing. And that's why I will never support them. That's also why I think... That's also why I think the whole fandom needs to... Just Cool down, take a chill pill, and instead of canceling people, we should just praise people, you know? Because there are people like me who refuse to let cancel culture be a thing because it's stupid. <coughs> I don't have have the Rona, it's just when I talk too much, I, my throat gets dry. But basically, yeah, there will always be people like me who refuse to let people like you take par part in cancel culture because it's really stupid. And you're like not letting this 50 something year old man use his voice, which being a public figure, he automatically has a voice. That doesn't mean he's over you. That, do that doesn't mean he's above you. It just means he has a voice that he should be able to use in situations where he needs to use it. Such as the situation you guys are putting him through right now. If, if you're can't trying to cancel Tommy Howell. I'm sorry, but we can't be friends because Tommy Howell is one of the people that may have well saved my life with that movie. I don't care if you disagree with me. I don't care if you want to go off and call me a hypocrite, 
a liar or whatever else you can think to call me because of this video. I don't care. It's just... Cancel culture is heckin' stupid. Especially when it comes to people like Tommy who you're refusing to let him use his voice. That he has for the exact reason you're refusing to let him use it for. There will always be Tommy stands. There will always be people behind him. And I will always represent people. So no matter what you say, I will continue to support him. But I will not support anyone whose goal is to make him look bad. I refuse to support you if you do that. Because I don't see the purpose in doing that. I don't see the purpose in making someone who has a voice unable to use that voice they have for the specific reason you're not letting them use their voice. Now, if Tommy Howe had a YouTube channel, he would have... There would be videos about him left and right because it seems like YouTubers, you have to try really hard not to get cancelled these days. But, you know... There will always be people who love and support Tommy. So in retrospect, I really have no reason to complain about these girls. But I'm still going to do it anyway because it's just unfair to Tommy that you guys are getting all the love and support Well, he is getting called names left and right because of what you do. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to be called a racist anymore. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to be called a bunch of names like... I'm pretty sure Tommy just wants to be left alone. Same with James Charles. Like, I don't care who you are, you also need to leave James Charles alone. Even though I was never personally into his content. Still, you need to leave people alone. It's like, every year there's a new big controversy. Like, first it was Logan Paul in the Suicide Forest. Which, obviously, he deserved flack for. Then it was KSI versus Logan Paul, and... Then it became a matter of, uh... Oh, James Charles is a sexual predator who hits on straight men. And then... It's... It became... James Charles is still bad. Then it became... Oh, Shane Dawson is a pedophile, and Jeffree Star is a liar. Which, honestly, I believe in. And now it's down to Tommy Howell's a pedophile. Tommy Howell's racist. Who the hell's next? Patrick Swayze? You can't cancel a man who's dead. Let me just tell you that, guys. Anyway, I just wanted to come out here as, like, someone who's been in the fandom for almost two years now and as someone who will always support people who belong to that movie no matter what they're being accused of because I will always believe the accused over the accuser especially when it comes to cancel culture well anyways Thank you for giving me 30 minutes of your time. Goodbye.